are live. So, okay. Let's go. So here we are. We are going to do the last, well, not quite the last, but the final character, uh, Velvet. So we will read this book. I'm going to read the book Fate. It's what Velvet's chapter is titled. Our cat is just going nuts watching us. Once comes to the control of destiny and despair, the outcome will be simple. But we know we shall find our true fate only in choosing a path that defies destiny. I really like the kind of... Op operatic, I guess. Oh, they're holding hands. Cornelius! He squeezed my hand so tightly. Forgive me. I cannot help but keep you close. Ah, oh, Cornelius. But soon I must depart. My father awaits. Can you meet me here again? I shall be waiting. Your promise gives me strength. Tis but a temporary separation. What a tall, handsome man. Hey, son, what's up, buddy? I do not approve. Ingwe being Ingwe. Ingwe! How dare you! How long have you been there? Must I turn him into a frog to make you give him up? Wake up, Velvet. He is a prince. We are but vagabonds. Your love amounts to nothing. <laughs> you need not be jealous, Ingwe. King Valentine's blood runs through you both. You are the last living heirs. You shall restore the throne. Silence. Skaldi, go tell Urza that I shall be successful in my plans. I. His plans, huh? A king, eh? Yeah, Liam O'Brien's a great VA. He so does a lot of work. So they bastards conceived in treachery, linked to our grandfather's bloody throne? I think not. Please, don't talk about our mother that way. Velvet. It would seem you have forgotten about the curse she set on us. I have not forgotten. No, you have. Now, read this once again. Read the prophecy our mother wrote. Tis written clearly. An unavoidable curse and death shall be unleashed upon us both. Mm. Our mother, who could see the future, wished death upon us. Making a few logical leaps there, Ingwe. We abandoned our mother first. Twas inevitable she would curse us. Had we not abandoned her, that crazed king would have executed us as well. I would have preferred that. At least we would not have to suffer under a curse cast by our own mother! That doesn't mean that the curse she has predicted will come true. Oh, can you see the future now, like Mother in Hindle? <laughs> I'm sorry, Velvet. I spoke too strongly. Let us go. Hold on to this. So your level grinding quest, huh? How far are you now? My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse. Curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. It's like a Mother. warning more than a curse, right? Am I the only one who gets that? The cauldron guides the way to Armageddon with its final stone. Yeah, it's more of a warning, I'd say. 36, you're getting there, man. You're you're close. The end, well, I think the end's in sight. So Velvet can swing, which is pretty cool. And she has a bit better range than everyone else. Aside from, you know, Mercedes, but while well, Mercedes was a ranged character, Velvet's still melee. And she has some pretty cool combos, I have to say. She's one of the more fun characters, I think. 
uh, the characters with the most fun, normal moveset, I would rank um, probably Cornelius and Velvet at the top. Because they just have these great moves that kind of flow into each other. Um, what's his face has them too. Oswalds are not so so, you know, not so great. At least they feel kind of weird. Oh, it's Hendel. He's not dead yet. Why hath my slumber been disturbed? You possess the gift of foresight. I seek an answer from you. Unfortunately, I cannot assist you. When I speak, fairies and humans misinterpret my words and lose their perspectives. I have stopped gazing into the future. Ah. I am of King Valentine's bloodline. I had heard that you were close to the royal family. Sheep are close to humans as food, not friends. So too are dragons. We have never been friends of man. I see. So you are Velvet. I have had visions of your arrival. I guess this is the time. Uh -oh. If you knew I was coming, then you know why I am here. As your mother said, a curse and death surround your own demise. Tis nothing to fear. No life can escape death. When life ends, a world is sealed. If you know my fate, you know that it is pointless to discuss my death. Yes, that is correct. Please tell me what the future holds. Everything hath already been written in the prophecies. Hmm. I have nothing more to add. We've been hearing a lot about these prophecies. The path to take will be indicated by your mentor. My mentor? Yeah, who could that be? Death cannot be avoided, but fate can be redirected. Are you suggesting destiny can be changed? I exist for guidance. Though I be not rewarded, I must serve my purpose. You're pretty good at Until picking out voice actors. States, Son, you got a good ear for that. Every kingdom takes my life. Oh. Deny fate if you wish. That is your duty in your demise. Hmm. You shall visit here once more. At that time, my friend shall attend to you. Now, please go. My own end draws near. Uh -huh. Even sinners before their execution are allowed time for a prayer. Please do not interfere with my slumber. Hendel's a good guy. One of the few truly uh, reasonable NPCs in this game. But, um, Wagner kind of is our good buddy, too. Wagner has been, he's been a little cross with us, but he's never been outright rude. Well, who could this be? Princess Velvet, have you been studying? This is a perfect time to review our nation's history. Oh boy. The Kingdom of Valentine was created after our ancestors first came to Arion. Nice, good call, son. Our exceptional skills in magic and technology flourished. And we prospered, becoming an affluent nation. In our golden age, we controlled over half the continent and... Master Croy. Him? <laughs> Excellent. Why, Princess Velvet? If I knew you would be visiting, I would have had some tea ready. Are you still in the castle in the forest? It's quite far okay. from anything. What other stuff has Wagner's VA nice done? But it's almost like a prison out there. Because he's really good. I like him. Everyone needs Probably to believe then... that you and Ingwe are the I only wonder. survivors of the destruction of Valentine. Hmm. So I don't think we have any money. Welcome! What can I... 
Yeah, we don't have any money. We're poor. Poor as all hell. Oh, see, I, I never watched Code Yes, or I don't even know if that's how you're supposed to say it. I probably should, but eh. Princess, intense I'm apathy. These days, I can get a fair amount of coins by working in the Fairy Kingdom. Oh, it's this guy. All right, well, we're poor in normal money as well. So, okay. All right, Netherworld, huh? What could we be headed here for? As we have discussed before, there are several prophecies about this land. All of them refer to the end of the world, caused by five disasters, a monster, a fire, a king of death, a cauldron, and a dragon. Mm. The prophecies about our own nation were similar. Ingwe and I were oh, taught the about big these year. prophecies when we were younger. Yeah. Princess Velvet, do not have an answer regarding how to save the two of you. Oh, he's sweating. Master Croy. Any instructor would be vague. They would guard their words to comfort their pupil. Scaldi. Is this an acquaintance of yours? Before the first Valentine heir came to this land, the prophecies regarding this area were already ancient. Mm. They are more accurate than the tales coming from less enlightened nations. How dare you insinuate that my country's wisdom is fallacious! King Galen of my country, Titania, listed these prophecies in an epic poem. The truth behind the catastrophe can be found in these verses. And where are these poems? I would like to see them. The Psalms have been scattered and are lost. One section has been passed by word of mouth, however, it is quite vague. If you know not the words, tis best to admit that you do not know them. All wise men respect honesty. God, the wise if men are just pricks. Your folly, you will never find the answer you seek. You do not seek a debate. All you want is a fight. Oh, I feel dizzy. Be careful. Anger is likely to disrupt the amount of blood reaching one's brain. Scully's a real piece of shit. Extensive knowledge. I bid you farewell. Look at how Master Croy doesn't like take his his provocations Master. at all. Just like see ya, asshole. That wasn't nice, Scully. I spoke only the truth. Tis fact that the Psalms foretell events to come. Is there any way to read the whole scripture? Only King Gallon knows the entire poem. I see, so we'll go into but hell. Gallen yep. is held prisoner in the netherworld. Hmm. You once said you are able to go to the netherworld. Yes, indeed. I can. Oh, he is? See, I'd I like to know the truth. If the epic poems tell of destruction, I shall take you there and hand them to you. But please do not forget, if you seek fish, you must first bait the hook. Uh. What is it you want? Oh, the request of one as old as I is but a trifle. I ask for a single book. If I can borrow the Book of Transformation... Uh-oh. That is a book of magic scribed by my grandfather. Tis my kingdom's treasure. It is not mine to give. I only asked to borrow it for a short time. I see. Well, let us go before we change our minds. So I've never watched these these animes um, dubbed. I, I watched them subbed because I'm, you know, I'm a piece of shit. But I also did that before, like, dubs were officially announced for a lot of them, so... That's my defense. Oh yeah, what's my... Oh, I guess my, um... Boson ability is based on, uh... Power points. But I can't use it right now. See, the... I've heard mixed things about the Gurren Lagann dub, but I didn't know anyone who I trusted who actually watched it. 
so I'll, I'll check it out at some point if I ever want to rewatch the show. I was pretty happy with the subs, at least of the, the, the Japanese voice actors, and people are like, well, how can you know what Japanese voice actor is? if they're good or not, because you don't speak the language. And it's like, okay, but I can tell if they're giving, you know, a, a meaningful performance, you know, that's... I think that counts for something. But, whatever. Uh, there are some things, though, where I really think the, the dub is fantastic, like the dub for, um, for Yu Yu Hakusho is great. Yu Yu Hakusho is just a very good series, and it's, it's one of the... The few where I fully recommend watching um, the show over reading the uh, reading the uh, the comic because honestly I was not super satisfied with the comic in several places when I uh, revisited it I wanted to just compare the comic to the the anime and the anime is just way better there's basically like no filler it's just great good shit. I mean, there's so the, the, it's not exactly filler, but there's things that happen in the anime that don't happen, and you know, the the manga. But it's it's not anything bad, you know. It's like it's 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 more supplemental than straight up filler, which I think is is absolutely the right way to do it. All right, we'll head to, to the west first. Pick up some more money, although we're still poor as shit. All these fucking... Are they all dead? Yay! Yeah, Yu Yu, Yu Hakusho Show is, is fantastic. Um, it is made by the guy who I guess does Hunter x Hunter now, but... The Hunter x Hunter pacing really turned me off. Like, it just was not going anywhere fast when I was reading the series, and the art, for me, like, it, it was just so inconsistent. It would fluctuate between excellent and, like, a fucking sketchbook, you know? I also wasn't really the biggest fan of Bleach, like, the Soul Society stuff is, is, is pretty fun, um, and after that it kind of just goes downhill. In a, I would argue of, oh, I need to actually equip Dancing Chain. Um, in a pretty significant way. They just kind of try to recapture the, uh... Oh, it's pretty cool. Try to recapture just the... The, you know, the, the Soul Society stuff, and they never really do. That's my read. But, you know, feel free to have your own different read. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Like it's like I, not like I hate it. I mean, I still I still read it the whole way through. Um, it just it wasn't something where I, I, I cared enough to watch the the anime as well. I usually read the the, the, the manga, um, and then it, if I if I really like something, I might watch the um, the anime adaptation 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 a little bit later. But um, I don't know. Sometimes it just feels like anime just takes too long. I, I've seen a lot of, of anime adaptations that I was not very satisfied with. Like, for One Piece, I think once it started to... Yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho. It's like H-A-K-U-S-H-O. And it had, like, the, the, the name is, like, meaningless within the series, too, which is, is weird. The author, like, there's a, he talks about it. He's like, I just named it that because the, they wanted a different name I don't know, there was something weird where like it was going to have a name similar to another series, and so he was like, oh, I'll just call it something different, and he came up with that like on the spot. Okay. But yeah, no, I, that's, a, that's a great series. Um, I don't know, but yeah, One Piece, like, I really liked the, the, the anime initially, but as it got as it caught up more to the, um, the manga, and it, or manga, however you're supposed to say it, I actually don't, I know, it, I'm told you're supposed to say manga, but that sounds kind of dumb. Um, as it got, as it caught up, you know, so there was, it had, they had to slow the pacing down, and it just got, I think it just really suffered as a result. Like, God, I don't know, the pacing just never really recovered, and now it's like, you know, they have to do so much filler that it's just kind of absurd. Which I think is, is just a big crime. 
Oh, A? Bullshit. I was perfect there. Alright, another rest area. I don't think we have access to the, um... The touring restaurant yet? Doesn't look like it. I will not end my green. And then, you know, if you want to talk about... Infamous, there's there's Dragon Ball Z with the pacing they had to do at certain points there, but... I don't know. That's still an enjoyable series. I... When I was reading the, uh, I, I, re I when I revisited, I, I read the, the scans, and it's surprising how for such a, a popular series, it has like really low quality scans online. Um, I think a lot of it is just because you know people only scan what the, the the cool new thing to scan is, which is really stupid, but whatever. Um, so no one wants to like go back and rescan Dragon Ball, even when Dragon Ball is getting these amazing, you know, um, the the re-releases they call them like I can't remember what they, they were like they did they did these really great um, re-releases of the the volumes though. I'll tell you who plays the wise men assholes, people who are really good at doing that kind of like smug voice acting. Probably the kind of person who would play a, a good Gendo, too. Oh yeah, this is Poisonville. Can't stop here, this is Poison Country! Oh, shit. Um... Antidote. Oh, is it in? Oh, okay, I was gonna say it was in the garbage. Huh. That doesn't surprise me though. That they they all share a voice actor. Yeah, it's weird when games don't credit voice actors. I, ha I have to wonder why. Done like that. There's probably some reason, it's just not necessarily a good one. Alright, so we're just equipping any accessory we can because why not? Because our first Mandragora, Carotier. Fucking hate geests. Bam, okay. I was really thinking about this the other day, but I really want I'd love to see like Big O have a revival. And I, I understand, you know, a lot of people didn't like the second season as much as the as the first season. And I can I can I can get behind that. I mean the second season, you know, it just doesn't feel as good. But it's still, uh, for what it is, I think really enjoyable. And if it's like, my biggest complaint is it's not as good as the first season, which is, is really good, then, you know, that's that's not a big problem. But yeah, I know, I, I loved both seasons as well. Uh, I would definitely say the first season, I c it, it felt more unique and inventive. It's not the second season wasn't either of those things, it just... It felt like they were just kind of struggling to, to keep it up to the same level, I guess, is, is more what I would say. Some of the plot points don't feel as well, you know. I guess the, the mystery, I feel like, works a little better if it's just one season. The second season, sort of delving into the plot, but not exactly answering some of the questions. You know, I can understand being frustrated with that. Uh, the ending, I thought, was just very different, and I liked that. The whole kind of big, big, um, you know, reveal. Not exactly reveal, but just ending kind of stuff. I mean, it, it's cool that we got a second season, though. Like, that was cool. I'm, I'm very happy we got a second season. You know, so don't get me wrong. Yeah, that was so weird. The second... The final episode, 
I'd always heard that, that Adult Swim like refused to pay for more, which is like the strangest decision. So the, the, the second season ending feels very abrupt and it leaves a lot of stuff unanswered. And I, like you, you, you look at some of the fan theories and some of the fan theories I think are just really silly. But I don't know. All right, so there's definitely something in this room. Let's see, is this going to be one of those... Well, I'll do this. Adult Swim such a strange, like, company or group. Completion. Candle holder who collects keys. Huh. Could that be this guy? This is the treasure chest here, but I don't see it. Like, I don't know, is this... Oh, I'm supposed to kill him? Yeah. Huh. Whatever. The big O is just, you know, yeah, so the, the ending is weird, um, but it's great. Definitely a must watch in my book as well. I would, I would easily rank it among one of the, my favorite. I'd be curious to how it would, it would hold up, because I, I haven't seen it for a very long time. So I don't know if it would really hold up the same way. But yeah, no, the, the setting is great. Um, the art is fantastic, the opening theme, 10 out of 10, uh, just a really good game overall, I'd say, or really good game, really good anime overall, I'd say. I was thinking, it'd be nice to, it'd be, I mean, it'd be cool if they could capture that same kind of style and feel in a game, but it'd basically be impossible, so, it, to make a, to make a good big O game, so it'd be cool if it, to see that kind of style, I guess, applied to a game, but... I was just thinking about that, and I guess it, it, it bled through when I just blurted out game, but... No, I don't, I don't know. Uh, one of the, like, the, the weird, unique games that I remember, um, El Shaddai, that was a very strange, unique game that had style, if little else. Apparently the, the director is, is, is given another project, and it's gonna come out at some point relatively soon. That's kind of cool. Because, I mean, I don't know. I never beat it. It's one of the games I do plan on maybe revisiting um, in my PlayStation 3 streaming, but the problem with PlayStation 3 is I basically have to get a new capture device in addition to new capture. So I bought, like, I bought um, component cards because PlayStation 3 forces um, HDCP over... Uh, over HDMI for God knows why. Some weird Sony shit reason. Um, so I'd need a, a capture device that supports either component or HDCP. Okay, I'm confident that I would still love Season 1, for sure. And probably most of Season 2. There's some parts of Season 2 that just kind of seem to come out of nowhere and not really go anywhere. You know. Why did you not assist me, disappearing like that? As you promised, I did borrow the book in question. But it was missing the section regarding the curse of the Puka. As it stands, I cannot help your current situation. Ass. The pages were removed. Ingwe must have interfered. There is not much time. If the Queen catches us, she will not allow us to leave. The king's prison cell should be nearby. I smell warm blood. Do I sense live humans? Oh, king of Titania, it is I. Be gone, you demons. I have already declined your request. 
Maybe he'll... Great king. Although you do not wish it, we will one day release you. But our business today is different. Maybe he'll listen to our request. We come here to ask you, scribe of Arian's greatest epic, about the world's end. The scent of the blood coursing through your veins. I remember it. I am Princess Velvet, of Valentine. His grandchild. Please tell me of the prophecies that are based on the Psalms. <laughs> Do you hope Skullby just want, wa slowly sneaking away? I wish away. to oppose destiny and escape a curse that would cause my death. <laughs> oh no, the Halia will hear us. This is all that is left in my head and in my hands. Seek out the rest. I shall dream about you saving the world. Ah, the corpse that calls itself royalty. She has come to torture us. Silence. I do not recall allowing visitors into the prison. Queen Odette of the Netherworld. You say you are from Valentine. The memory of that name makes me furious. That criminal you all call a king. He stole my eye and crawled out onto the earth. What? My grandfather? Yeah, what? Your rudeness continues. Tearing you limb from limb is not punishment enough. <laughs> oh dear. The land sinks into the cauldron's fire through blades and arrows are there though though blades and arrows are unleashed the flooding fire cannot be stopped it can only be chained a fiery six-eyed beast speeds the guiding hand of salvation the one who removes the torment is mine own son the lord of the netherworld emerges in a triumphant march of death one that threatens the darkness is the shadow of the lost master. The looming blaze cometh, burning down the forests. The flood of fire that man cannot withstand is halted by the world tree and vanishes. The lord of snakes consumes all left behind, born in chaos and fire, sleep in mother's arms, life disappears from the land, all comes to an end. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. Okay, so the, the queen is is uh is Lulu. That's pretty cool. Let me check out some of these other abilities. So we have flare shot. Let's set that here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. Lots of creeps. I'm trying to creep over here. One of my good memories is playing Battlefield 1 with one of my friends. And I'm just like sneaking around the edge. And he's like, what, what are you doing, man? I'm like, I'm trying to creep. And then he, he spawned with a horse. And um, I don't know how you exactly you do that. That's like the special hero unit, though, kind of. And... Um, he fucking killed all of the people. He committed war crimes. Horse crimes. But, well, that makes it sound worse than it, than it, than it is. There's my fire. God. Battlefield... Battlefield games are dumb but fun. Like, they're a, they're a, they're a fun... Dumb. It's a different kind of dumb than, like... Call of Duty tends to be. Call of Duty is just like stupid dumb. But there's there's fun dumb as well. Oh fucking ghouls and their oh you can't hit us because we're ghouls. I fucking hate ghouls. 
So you're supposed to fight, I guess, near the, the candle bearers, because um, they always... So the, the light forces the ghouls to materialize, and you can also do that with um, the uh, shine up, up in the mixture. But, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Oh, there's a little bit of bone stuff going on there. Yeah, Awesome Lots was nice. It was it was kind of weird playing against the other people. That was uh, a very strange experience. Still don't really understand the hitboxes there, but it, it's it's pleasant enough. Like it's it's an inventive, unique MOBA. So props to it for that and a saturated genre to, to do something un unique and interesting for once. All you are gathering. We're completely surrounded. You stupid girl! We cannot run after angering the Queen! <gasps> That's... Us! Hi, Odin. In this realm of death, I mistook you for my beloved. Your mother, my dearest daughter, Velvet. Odin. This man drove my mother mad. Creatures born of fragmented souls. I shall pound you into your graves if you do not leave us. Criminal Odin. You will Criminal. never be forgiven. You have been warned, you fools. It's you again, Odin. I desire you, Queen of Rotting Cadavers. A big I shall boy. decline from kissing your hand, but I shall restrain myself while in your court. After stealing my jewels, how does a thief call himself restrained? The crystals of the netherworld are quite useful. It is a waste to leave them. Casting off darkness and shining through, you cannot defeat me. It will be my own hand that finally nails your casket shut. Do not think you will die. I love the texture on her her dress. It just looks like it's flowing and it's great. Let's go, Velvet. Don't come near me. Something must be wrong. If you have come to save me. The holy are growing impatient. Yeah, I think that's. But they do not tremble wrong. or shy away. Let me take you to the Netherworld's exit. <laughs> Forcible so rescue. Girl is Odin's daughter. Hmm, I must escape quickly too. <laughs> Asshole, wise men just teleporting about. Hate him. Fire pillar. All right. Oh, we're just a little short. Okay. All right. That's the first chapter down. We are just cruising, and not for a bruising this time. Agreed. These guys it have to seems say. that there's a tremendous amount of magical energy I, I kinda... the cauldron. It's probably because the cauldron's still active. I wonder if our country will ever be like it was before. Hmm. Talk. Let's continue our lesson of the nation's history. Okay. A nightmare befell the land. And soon afterward, the Aesir and the Vanir began a war over the Cauldron. The Aesir were exhausted from the war with our nation, and the Vanir defeated them. The Aesir withdrew, but after finding the Ring of Titrell that the fairies used to control the Cauldron, both countries began a long war to control this area. Hmm. hmm? What's wrong? <sighs> A great storm has raged against our land ever since the disaster. Okay, that's so fine. I cut it off initially on accident. So let's, let's buy... <laughs> Creatures from Dig Dug, huh? 
Eh. Well, what can I get? I can see it, I guess. Omelette. Sure. Bon appetit! Look at that. We leveled up almost four times. Omelets are good for you. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello, princess. Hi. Business is going very well. With this war going on, it seems that the fairy... Oh. Well, well good, good for you. Detox charm. Luck stone and power stone. Eh. Eh. Let's just, let's venture onward. Fairy kingdom. Well, queendom. Queen Dom. She went to the netherworld with that sorcerer? This is so dangerous. Oh, I'm so nervous. Uh, he may still be nearby. She's been looking gloomy ever since she returned. Probably talking about Odin. I can see why. If I may ask, why are you so frightened? My grandfather. King oh. Valentine has escaped the netherworld. Oh. The deceased king? But how? That's right. That happens about this time. My grandfather was interested in the cauldron. If that is true, it must surely refer to the great cauldron that appears in the prophecies. Hmm. Is this the beginning of the end of the world? I do not know. It is impossible to speculate the motives of a king who has escaped the netherworld. I don't think that's you have really such true. Great wisdom. I Do think you it's know possible. Of any way to prevent this destruction, Father? Speculate. Hmm. A single ring controls the cauldron. The ring that my grandfather was wearing? Indeed, the ring of Titrell. If that ring is used to stop the cauldron, no one can restart it, not even a king. Where is this ring now? It's in the fairy kingdom, where the cauldron has been taken. All right, I we got a clear objective. Cover the ring. What are you saying? Velvet! I would rather fight against death than wait for my cursed destiny to take me. I know a man who can magically send himself there. If I asked him, if you're discovered, all Puka will be labeled as criminals. Please, do not tell anyone of this. I don't want anyone else involved. Moving in the shadows will not hide you from the fairies for long. That is when this change shall protect me. Hmm. So we're gonna storm the fairies to try and pre prevent the end of the world. I wonder if that's gonna work. There's certainly been a lot of talk about the end of the world, and we're learning a lot more about the prophecy. I do like how even though you're seeing many of the same events from different perspectives, you're also getting kind of a big, bigger picture overall about what really a lot of this stuff entails and what's going on. Yeah, this didn't work too well. We're not sneaking anymore, are we? I love that, that, ah, 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 ah. Excellent. I do like their shields, too, the little, like, bug shield. I guess, you know, my affinity for that should be obvious, though, right? <laughs> there we are. Us? I forgot you can do that, yeah. Just pull yourself forward to the chain. See, that is that, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's diagonal. Not diagonal. Horizontal. That's the one. Oh, I need to... Sent one of them flying off into the distance. There we go. Kearney. 
we will cancel the dwarf state. Yeah, I don't really know who voices Odin. I think he does a really good job, though. All of the voice actors in this game, I think, kill it. The Nier. Um, another game that has fantastic voice acting. All of the Nier voice actors. So far, and in like the, the two hours I've played of, of Automata, the, those guys kill it too, but I think the biggest ones, um, in my opinion, uh, the main cast in, in Nier, the first, they fucking murder it. Weiss, um... I think Weiss is Liam O'Brien, actually. Um, he does just a fantastic job. The biggest complaint people have is that he sounds a lot like, um, Illidan. You know, but it's like, it's, it's well executed, I would say, so it doesn't really bother me that it sounds similar to, uh, another one of his, his roles. Like, one of the, the major things that really, uh, works for Nier, I think, is, is you get to see the, the character interactions between, you know, the main character Nier and, um, Princess? Weiss. What brings uh, you Grim here? Grimoire Weiss. Oh! But yeah, that's how you spell his name. He is a fucking... He's a bro. He, he has just fantastic characterization. Um, it really kind of... They, their interactions really add a lot of... They talk about the world, and it really kind of adds a lot of depth to the characters themselves, and helps, you know, just... It's it's great. And the, the, the dialogue between them is, is genuinely... Yeah, near. Uh, N-I-E-R is genuinely good. That is, that's, that's near on, um, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Uh, that's just, honestly, you know, the gameplay is not that fantastic, but, no, yeah, sorry. Um, the gameplay is not that fantastic, but it's really the story and the, the music and the character interactions and just the... You know, the, the guts it has to experiment and try new things. It's just, it's a very interesting and unique game. And I will I will never stop loving Nier. Big fan of that. But yeah, I think I think Nier is, or, or I think Liam O'Brien does Weiss. Um, I don't remember who does Emile, but um, she fucking kills it. Kaine has a great voice actor. Honestly, the whole main cast has fantastic, um, yeah, Liam O'Brien. That's what I thought. He does a really good job. He fucking murders it. Um, don't remember who voices Nier. Don't remember who voices uh, um, Kaine or uh, or um, Emil either. But those are really good. Yona's voice actress has very little time, so it's it's hard to even evaluate what kind of job she does. But, honestly, everyone does a really good job in that game. Oh. I'll have to teleport back to the start at one point and go across. Oh my god! Jamieson Price? No fucking wonder! Yeah, Julie Ann Taylor. Emile. Oh my god. She does such a good job. She, like, Emile is just this young boy, um... Sort of. And uh, she just adds this incredible depth to his character and, you know, really is able to convey his determination. And it's like, yeah, this is great. I say sort of because Emile's story is a little more complicated. And the part that I'm disputing, well, is the young part, let's say. Um, he is a boy. And Laura Bailey. Laura Bailey just always... I, she's kind of a famous one, right? Like, she, she's done... Because I, I know I've recognized that name. So, I, she's done a lot of good stuff, though, from what I remember. Here's the fake news mushroom lady. I say fake news because she's not really a lady. She's just a mushroom. See if she teleports or transforms into the, the big angry man at some point. Yeah, the little angry man now. Oh, 
I got that block off just in time. Man. Ooh. Star Ocean 4. Poor Laura Bailey for being involved in Star Ocean 4. At least it wasn't a career killer, right? Because that it's just not a good game. But I don't know. I don't think the voice actors were really the problem. The only the script is terrible in that game. So any voice, it was like uh, who does? Is Laura Bailey? Is she the one who usually does Samus? I think it. I think she is. And um. Yeah, I think she does. She usually does Samus, and so she, I think she's also in other M. So remember, so they got that the, the usual Samus voice actress, who's like a famous voice actress. That I, just name is just escaping me. Um, to do other M Samus, which is like the weirdest choice. Jennifer Hale, that's right, because um, it's just the strangest choice because other M Samus is has no character. Like, other M. Samus is just, like, just, it's just speak monotone. So, so why do you get this, like, famous, super talented voice actress and just have her be like, I was doing this, and that was all I did, and that was the end of it, and then... It's like, well, what, like, what's the fucking point? You know, you just, you're squandering this incredible talent. You know, I don't know. Other M, I, yeah, mm. as an As a Metroid fan, I don't like Other M. Let's put it that way. That was a game that I, I, I pirated, um, cause I, ooh, I was not gonna buy that. And, um, ooh, one of the few games where, uh, I've almost fallen asleep while playing it. You know, not cause I was tired. It's just fucking boring. Very fucking boring. Unbelievably dry, unbelievably uninteresting. It was Jessica Martin, okay. So, it, it makes a little more sense that they didn't just get Jennifer Hale. Because, you know, getting Jennifer Hale to just be like, I'm Samus, I am... It's like, what, like, what would be the point? But honestly, you could you could have had, like, a, a text-to-speech program do Samus and Other M. I don't know. I, and apparently, the, the voice direction for Other M was just speak monotone and disinterested. Which I cannot, for the life of me, under, understand. So I know some people are going to like Other M. Because... People like everything, and you know, if you look, if people like other M, that's fine. I just think one thing that I think it's difficult to defend is the the, the voice direction. Let's say um, I think it's very difficult to defend that because it's just it's very unbelievably dry. It, like it, it to me, you know, really took me out of the experience because Samus herself just sounds disinterested in the game. Like that's that's kind of bad when the characters themselves are like, oh, this game is not really worth my time. I don't know. Like, it, it's one thing if the if the, the actor is doing a bad job, but it's another thing if you're just telling the um, actor to do something stupid, you know? In conclusion, what's the guy's name? Is that Yoshio Sakamoto? He's not a good person. He'll be punished one day. Someday he he will he will be called to face uh, judgment for his crimes. But today is not that day. Oh, breaking news! I like breaking news. Is it good breaking news or is it bad breaking news? It's probably bad breaking news. Oh, this is a new variant of the fairy, I think. We don't usually see this variant, the summoner. But we have the, um... Fuck it, really? Well, did, did, did you see the, um... Speaking of Nintendo, did you see that... So that their uh, headset for Splatoon is like this... They're, they're contracting it out to Hori, which, you know, it's fine. But because of all these weird design decisions they made with the Switch, you have to have, like, a, um... You have to use like a, a an app on a pair with a smartphone and a dongle to use a fucking headset, which is like, why? Like, why did you do this, Nintendo? You could have, I don't know. The fact that so so part of it is that they chose to do um, there's no optical output on the Switch, which is just a weird choice. Um, there's no uh, 
headphone jack on the Joy-Cons, which is, again, very strange choice. Um, I can understand not supporting the Bluetooth, because Bluetooth, I guess, there is a concern with um, if it was going to have four connected, they want to make sure they have the absolute best um, bandwidth and, and no interference on the... on the... Um, oh, damn it. On the controllers, because that would be a game changer, although apparently, um, you know, there's interference anyway, but I don't know, certain, th certain things about the Switch just, they're, they're kind of uh, bewildering, I guess is a good way to put it. It's kind of like, huh, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you want to you wanna just take a break, Nintendo, and, and, and talk this one through? I don't want to know how much Nintendo's charging. It's going to be something I don't like, isn't it? Well, the short answer is probably I'm dumb enough to pay for it, but... It's going to be... Alright, let's look at these images. Oh! Restreamio chat's being stupid. What is it, like $15 a month, probably? Let me, let me just click the YouTube links. Sorry, I'm just gonna... Okay, coming in 2018. A, li a free limited version in 2017. Wow, great job. Well, that's actually not bad, I mean... That could be a lot worse. Let me just say, that could be a lot worse. And maybe this is proof that, like, my, my standards and my, my hopes were so low that this is still within reason for them. But, you know, I, it, it could be worse, all right? <laughs> Put that on my tombstone, you know, it could be worse. Let's just use this. Let's get our Fozons. I don't know. The fact that for for 12 months you can get it for 20 bucks, that's pretty reasonable, it seems. I mean, I'm used to like the Xbox, PlayStation shit where it's, you know, five bucks a month. So getting it for even slightly cheaper to me is a victory. But if they're going to be like shitty about, you know, rolling out features, as it seems they might be, who knows. Those those kind of... They're both phenomenal and, and, like, sad, I guess is the best way to put it. They're, it's both triumphant and sad, is, is kind of my Nintendo experience. Because there's they'll, they'll get something very right, and then other things they'll get extremely wrong, and you're like, how did you screw up that badly? But I mean, it, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll stop, you know, just repeating my mantra of it could be worse. Because, I mean, I think that much is obvious, but... I don't know, the, the... The headset looks stupid, the fact that it requires all these dongles is stupid. Although, here's what I will say. Um, in online shooters, like match-made shooters, I do not think not having a good... Not, not having, um headsets for every fucking person to talk on the microphone, I think actually that's a good absence. You know, like, um, having played Xbox where everyone does have a microphone and I just mute everyone because they're all idiots. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, no, I, like, I honestly, playing the, like, Splatoon with my friends, I would, I would, would use Discord because there'd be no point in using, uh, There'd be no fucking point in using the Nintendo headset. I mean, it's disappointing that they don't support audio out on the, the Switch. Like, even docked. That's or not, not audio, but optical audio out on the Switch. That, I think, is kind of a big omission. But, I'm lost. you know, what are you going to do? It's Nintendo. 
Nintendo, you fight one battle, like, you know, w when it comes to being a Nintendo fan, you fight one battle at a time, alright? You don't, you don't expect them to, to fix everything, uh, ever, because you're just, you're not gonna have a, a fun time if you, if you're hoping for that. That's the best way I can put it. But, no, like, so I, I, I actually bought a, a decent headset for my, my PlayStation uh, 4, and I have to say, I I like it. You know, having audio out and actually being able to hear, like, good quality audio for once in my life, it's like, oh, I'm not becoming an audiophile, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, there, there is something here after all. It's not just, you know, a stupid thing that assholes say. You know, it's not just like, oh, only assholes want, um, you know, high-quality audio because they're idiots. I used to, not that I used to think that, but it used to be just like, well, you know, how much of a difference does it really make? And now that I understand, it's like, oh, that's how much of a difference it makes. I can understand. Oh, fuck. Let's do this. Fuck, I'm getting destroyed here. Is this the retry, like... Yeah, retry battle. Alright. Yeah, I, then... See, here's what I wish that Nintendo would do. Like, they, they could just... They could, and they won't. They could just take a um, page from how Microsoft is, is doing this. They're having, like, like, a Netflix kind of service for games. That, I think, is a really cool idea. Fuck, I don't want to get owned so hard. Where basically, like, you pay a subscription fee, and then you actually, like, get access to all these games. You know? And it's just, it's, it's like a $10 fee for, and they had like a, you know, 20 some, it's more like 30 or 40 games, like on the, the Xbox One library, just there. Like, you, you, you pay this monthly fee, and you just get to play all of them, you know? And it's like, that's pretty good. Like, yeah, you know, it's, it's not, gr it's not perfect, I guess, you know, it's not free, but I think it's still, like, a, like that's a completely reasonable deal. Nintendo, I think, is just doing, like, I don't know, they, I, it seems, it really feels like some of this stuff is, is designed by accountants, let's say, where they, they just kind of have the bottom line, and they just figure that they can get a lot of money, um, out of people if they keep doing some of these ridiculous things, like, uh, just charging a ton on uh, virtual console releases and having the virtual console come out at a fucking, you know, snail's pace. Which is still the weirdest decision to me. I, I understand there have to be, like, licensing issues and whatnot for each game they probably have to do individually, but I don't know. They just seem very bad about it. Like, I can't imagine it's that hard to get people to sign off on it, but who knows? Aw, oh, sexy lady. She's hot. <laughs> She's on fire. Uh, anyway. I don't know, so the one thing I, I do foresee the, the voice chat being an issue for um, Monster Hunter Double Cross. Not having, like, reasonable voice chat options on that, but I would just play... I would just use Discord, honestly, with my friends for Monster Hunter on the Switch. But, I mean, the fact that there's not, like, a, a reasonable built-in solution is really unfortunate, but... I don't know. I also, at this point, am just kind of expecting there to not be a reasonable built-in solution. Because it's Nintendo. Oh, what's up, son? I know there's not a date for um, Double Cross on... Ooh, what's this? I wish there was a date for Double Cross in uh, America, but... For fall, online lobby and voice chat, monthly game download... Exclusive deals. Oh, that's pretty cool. That classic game selection sounds moderately interesting. The fact that they're adding like um, online multiplayer 
to some of these these classic games like Dr. Mario, Mario 3. You know, that's cool. That's that's certainly better than I would have expected, you know. All right, so I need to It's still not, you know, amazing, but Uh oh, zoom and enhance. You you creating the 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 GUI to track the killer's IP in real time using Visual Basic. All right, where is the closest teleport portal? Uh, I guess it's down. What is... I don't, I don't see what the enhance is. Sorry. What's... What I need to be watching for there. I mean, games like... I, Balloon Fight is kind of a weird choice, but Nintendo seems to be really proud of, of that and likes to include it in stuff nowadays, so... Whatever. It's their game, you know. Like, that's always one of the, the uh, games in, um, always one of the NES games in Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, no, the, the classic game selection, I think, it looks like a really cool thing. Yeah. I Sorry, I thought you meant, like, there was some secret hidden there that I just was too stupid to see, which is possible. Um... It's always possible. But no, like, the fact that, that you know, they're, they're doing classic games with online multiplayer, as they say, that's cool. I like that. Assuming, you know, it's a reasonable online multiplayer and you can, you know, play with your friends through the, the Switch interface, like, that's, that's, I guess, all I would really ask for, you know? But, who knows? I mean, Nintendo's still figuring out this online thing. I like this uh, ability where I just kind of shoot out the bendy chain, where, and it seems to curve to hit everyone multiple times, which I like. Take this! Yeah, that was good. Stylish. I'm gonna whirlwind now. Oh, and I'm one away from making another. Uh, Cipher level. I don't know. I mean, so ultimately, I'm I'm satisfied with my Switch so far. I bought a travel case so I can travel with it, but that's gonna come after I beat my 10 million 3DS backlog. I I made serious progress. I beat um the third of five labyrinths in uh, Persona Q. Though I am gonna beat that game, powering through. I put it from down from hard to normal because the it just it was just stupid at hard. Like there it wasn't particularly difficult. There was just a lot of things that were like more frustrating and it was like, oh this is kind of not really something I want to spend a lot of time on. So I'll play it at normal mode. And it's not really difficult on normal either. There's things that just can happen that you have to be prepared for, I guess. How dare you intrude in the palace while my mother is away in battle? They're pretty fun, Ashley. Oh no! Princess well, Ash, Mercedes! What? Welcome you... to Xbox or er, uh, YouTube though. Did something happen? A thief defeated the knights and snuck into the palace. This woman is that thief. I can see that. You have something of ours. Return my mother's ring immediately. What's what's nice what about is that? Is that the ring to trail? This ring is at the center of this debacle. It belongs to Valentine. This abominable treasure has no place with fairies. It seems there's more to this story. But you are mistaken. 
The rightful owner of that ring surrendered it to us. It is ours. King Valentine passed away during the disaster. Your lies are transparent. I tell no lie. The ring was given to our queen by the surviving Prince of Valentine. <gasps> Prince? It can't be Ingwe. Fucking Ingwe. Even He's if at that's it again. The case, I cannot return the ring. Ingwe's romancing Mercedes. Anywhere. Guards! Guards! But yeah, so the, the, the one nice thing about Xbox Live Gold and PlayStation Plus, um, you do get, you kind of get a decent amount of bang for your buck in that um, you also get free games every month. And I guess, you know, saying, well, you, you pay for free games, you know, it's, yeah, it's stupid, but I don't know. Like, the, the selection is not ever great. I think Xbox has done a really better job about that. You tend to... You, you used to, before Xbox started offering the, um, the, the games, you basically got, uh, at, with Sony you would get, like, free full-priced games, now you're lucky to get, you know, one game that's, and this is, like, a really stupid way to do it, don't get me wrong, like, stupid way isn't a stupid, like, a, a, a childish complaint on my part, but, um, the, the money-wise you get is, like, less of a return with Sony than it used to be. Hey Ryoko, yeah, I play Odin Sphere and I also have been known to dabble in English once or twice. So, fortunately I'm, well fortunately or unfortunately depending on what you were hoping to see, I'm getting to the end of the character storylines. I know we have the final chapter, or the final story coming up soon. Oh, bad dodge on my part. Get destroyed, Mercedes. If Nintendo does the Microsoft level, where you can get potential like full price games, that's cool. Sony has kind of rel. Sony has kind of decided now that you're only going to get um, indie games for for the, the the free games every month which don't get me wrong that's fine but i tend to already own a lot of the indie games on other platforms and it, they tend it to only be like a base price of you know 20 15 dollars um yeah well i'm a no cam person uh ash can confirm that i'm extremely handsome though i'm even more handsome than i am good at video games and i'm very good at video games and ash i would recommend that you think very carefully about your answer here because uh, someone might not bring you um, more Trader Joe's if you answer incorrectly. So, just just think about that when you when you answer. But anyway, no. So yeah, Microsoft you'll regularly get like full retail games. Sony you typically only get, you know, a fifteen and a ten dollar indie game. And and you know if you just complain about monetary things like me because you're an asshole, then that's that's one thing. But I'm relieved that you're all right. We were worried. Master. We, we can't let ourselves be seen. Hurry, we have to hide. So this is the ring that can stop the cauldron. This whole area is a war zone right now. No one will be able to come search for it. Father, is the king really trying to create another disaster? I know not the king's mind. But no, we're king trying to do the opposite. To use the cauldron for atrocity once again. The only one able to stop him is the one who knew him in life. It will be up to Princess Velvet. Oh, they're talking about uh, right, but the other king. I cannot king bear Valentine. to see the princess in such danger. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I did not give you that chain so you could act like a thief. Ingwe. Have you any idea how dangerous that ring is? Let me hold on to it, Velvet. Give me so the you can ring. Give it to the 
the fairies again. How do you know about this? We are twins. There is nothing you can hide from me. You said that Scaldi has friends in the fairy kingdom, did you not? If that chain makes you act so irrationally, shall I take it away? Don't glare at me like that. I'm just worried about you. Anyway's kind I'm of a weirdo. If I've upset you. Please, just leave me alone. I will eventually get that ring. But first, how can I stop the prattling of those old men who talk of nothing but Titrell? He's kind of a good guy, but like Odin, um, also not a good person. Let's put it that way. Assault high, always a good skill. All right, another chapter defeated. So let's continue onward. I believe now, since we're chapter three, we get access to the touring restaurant. Princess, tis best to stay within the village. I have seen Valkyrie in the skies. They must be patrolling the area. They must be intent on starting another war. Man. Fucking Valkyrie. It just, you know. Welcome! What can I. Let's eat our pot au feu. With pleasure! But yeah, I really like this game. I played this back on the PlayStation 2. Um, big fan of it then. So I, I, of course, bought the remake. I just. It's been a while me to get around to playing it unfortunately um i had the special edition so i got the the t-shirt and everything and i'm gonna have to wear that around town just so people know how cool i am it has like the um some of the alchemy recipes on it will this be all oh for you? sorry for for being on ahead of you ryoko yeah i you know i won't blame you if, if you want to just finish your chapter um, but the Puka Prince is probably one of my favorite chapters. Um, just because I think it's the story and the character are really enjoyable. Um, it's well paced. And it's where you start really getting into the meat of what's going on in the world. The, the Valkyrie story isn't bad, per se, Gwendolyn's story. I think it's just a little hard to get into the same way. After Gwendolyn's story, I think the game really kind of picks up Will this be the speed you? of the, the reveals and everything. So we're getting pretty good That's pacing about, you know, what's truly going on without saying too much. All right. Your chain, princess. It is the very first cipher created by a renowned dwarven... Hey, Dolly. What's up? The king had it made specifically for your mother, Princess Velvet. This is the, the first king cipher. Back then, he was a great man. But grandfather, grandfather took the chain away from my mother and gave it to me. So when they when they talk about the king, they're speaking specifically about King Valentine, not King Odin. Is there the something you need? Clarification. Maybe it's really obvious to everyone else, but something that did confuse me and still does to this day confuse me a little bit so three let me sell yeah no it's the the, the puka stuff i think is is surprisingly oh no i wanted to sell surprisingly well done and that it really um it really kind of helps establish uh, Cornelius as such a selfless character. You know, he's one of the, the he's someone who, who's punished basically, you know, for a very unjust reason. And it really kind of helps establish his struggle as a just one, his goal as, you know, a good one. 
makes him relatable too because everyone likes to root for the underdog that's just like a human thing and i don't know it's cool it really kind of helps you introduce to the um introduce you to a lot of the uh pukas which is good because the pukas do play a something you significant role kind of in the behind the scenes of the story so i'm just gonna buy six eggs i think i've got enough money i'm gonna put most of these in the storage since I can cook from the storage. Salad? Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's good. I, you know, I need to have more, I need to eat more salad. I'm not very good about that, but good on you for eating salad. I'm trying to develop my taste for that. Goblins? Why are they here? Do you, do you have, what kind of dressing do you like on it, uh, Dolly? The wind here is tainted with selfishness. Fools are fighting over a treasure at my grave. The world has become a rowdier place since I was last here. Mm. <gasps> it's been a while, has it not, Velvet? The last time I lost my life here. Grandfather? What is wrong, my child? I like how you you she's shaking. I guess my well, appearance does not help. But alas, I mean, this understandably is understandably so, I think. <laughs> Twas your duty to dance and console me, remember? So what is keeping you? Show your courtesy and kneel as you did before. Yes. Now, do you remember who commands you? There, there. You are a good child who obeys my commands. I shall have you work for me, as you always have. We shall regain the cauldron and purify the old world. <gasps> Grandfather, please forgive me. What? Do you dare to disobey me? You? <laughs> it seems that I may need to use the whip to bring you back to your senses. <laughs> Grandfather. He's, he's a very good king, Keith Silverstein. You I'm just familiar with him. Now follow me. He does a great job as King Valentine, the very must be put to sleep. Villainous. So that none may control it. What? No. You can't have the ring of Tetrell. Where is it? Do you have it? I will not tell you, even if you kill me. You... You conceited child! Just but the way he kind of shifts between... My time like this. The emotions... The whip on you later. ...while still kind of maintaining oh, the, the air of royalty. I think it's very good. Steen, okay. <laughs> I have to calm down. Grandfather is hurrying because he thinks that I can stop the cauldron. I must get there first. But just, you know, so, so... Yeah. Some whipping action, huh? Man. Now the only one whipping is Velvet. She does some, some ass whipping. Look at that. Good shit. Lots of killing. Yeah. I, so I think Cornelius has my favorite um, moveset, probably, but Velvet, I think, is, is probably my second favorite. Just because, you know, look at her. Her combos are just so fluid, and, you know, you just... The, the range makes it easy to just keep dudes in the, the sweet spot and keep smacking them around and being able to, she doesn't fly but she, you know, swings, which is cool. But reach is always a great thing. And she's very mobile as well, she has cool shit like this. Stab kind of sideways, and then you can go 
pick it up. There's some money. But yeah, can't, I, honestly, like, I know I've said this before, but all the, the voice actors do a great job in this game. Ooh, there's a key. Tried it there. For some reason, it just wasn't going. Yeah. Build up down combos. Some good shit. The captains are really annoying because they have more health, but. Eh, not too bad. Alright. Royal key. I think this is just money. Yeah. Not a not a bad amount of money. So we'll get an egg. Okay. More battling. There should be like an achievement for not touching the ground for a whole level. I guess you couldn't really do that, but... I don't know. It should be fun achievement, but... Uh-oh. Unfortunate news. Unfortunate news is my least favorite kind of news. I much prefer the fortunate variety. Okay, the boots. The boots are always useful later. You'll be moving soon. Oh no! Will you be moving to a better place or a worse place? Well, I guess you don't. You might not know that right now. But does that mean you won't be able to, to join the streams for some time? That's too bad. But, I don't know, I may move at some point as well, I don't know when, though. I'm, I'm looking at the housing market, is, I guess I should say. Would you happen to be the princess? Tis a pleasure to serve a I shall strive to create a, huh, a new recipe! Now then! Alright. Start by making some omelets. I'm gonna place in Kansas. Oh! Yeah, no! That sucks. Hopefully you have good enough internet. My friend, I think, lives um, in Kansas City, but unfortunately he lives in one of the, um, like, his his block, or his his apartment. They don't, um... As you wish. The the company refuses to sign with them. Yeah, so I'm also, Ryoko, I'm also streaming on um, Mixer, which I don't think anyone was watching, um, and YouTube. There's people watching on, on YouTube. Uh, one of them, my good buddy's son, so I, I'm I'm chatting Very with him well. a bit. Leave it to me. On uh, on YouTube, but I used to have the the chat relay set up, but Restreamio has not been cooperating with that recently. So hell if I know why it's not working. Let's try Muggle. Eh, sure out. Robert Moose. Let's do this. Let's, actually, let's do this first. Chat relay was working for some time, but you know, not anymore. I should probably just focus on one streaming platform, but yeah. Will that be all? Okay. Salad. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah, no, hopefully the internet gods... Hey, if the internet gods aren't kind, I know I, I know a video game that'll let you Fair kill enough. a god or two. But no, no internet would be... Four years with no internet? Good god, I would have lost my mind. Literally. Will that be all? Man, I can't even imagine that.
Is there a okay, we're doing pretty good. Very 2012 to 2016, good god. You realize that because you survived that sun, that means you're in, you're invincible. Nothing can kill you. That's that's true. Very well. Oof. Will that be all? Man. As you wish. I don't know. I I. Is yeah. There anything else you want? I think for the rest of us, this is like. Very well. This is this is hard, you know, for us to even imagine. Like I can't, I honestly can't imagine that. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, that's um. Wow. I will say though, this proves that you are invincible. You could you could shrug off bullets. You are um. You're the strongest human alive, probably. I don't, I don't know if I could do that. Well, let's let's hold on to our money for now. I think... Oh! Habanieri stop. Try to breathe fire on me. What an asshole. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Even though I dodged twice, because I... There we go. Ooh, almost dropped the combo. Combo unstoppable. Combo is not break. That's my combo tendency. Combo crusaders. Oh no, combo is break. Damn. Oh, fuck. Didn't take damage there. Um, I'm not the, the hugest anime fan, but I do I do like anime somewhat. You know, there's several series that I think are pretty good. Son and I were talking about um, Big O earlier. We're both we're both huge fans of Big O. Very good classic series. Um, real shame Cartoon Network didn't renew it for more uh, funding. Um, I'm not really watching that many this season. I think this season I'm only really following um, Hero Academy. I'm a big fan of Hero Academy, though. I read all of the, uh, I read the chapters and I buy the um, the volume releases when they come out in America. Big fan of the artist. But Hero Academy is good shit. Um, let's see, otherwise, I don't know. I'm not really the biggest anime fan out there. A lot of like the popular series are ones that I don't like. So Attack on Titan, I am highly critical of. That was a series that I, I read the um, the comic way back when, when it was still pretty new. And I um oh William Street, okay. I got really frustrated with um, the comic and the direction they were taking Attack on Titan, and they've just continually been taking it in a complete, I would argue, nonsensical direction. And, um, I, you know, the anime, to me, it seemed like it, the pacing was very bad. Uh, it, it kind of focused more on, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to give away anything to people who haven't, who aren't, like, you know, who are still following the series as it's, it's being broadcast, I guess I should say. But um, I'm highly critical of it. So if you like it, I won't try and take that away from you. However, um, let me just say, I, I have a lot of, of harsh words regarding uh, 
it and the direction the story takes. The Homeless Guy in the Alley, I'm not familiar with that one. Also, I haven't watched the, um, I have not my, watched um, One Punch Man, but I read the, the series. Um, and I, really, I really like that. It's a very fun series. But I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, so there, there's times where there's, there's cool things that happen, but I guess my, my complaint with Attack on Titan is um, it's kind of similar. I would compare it to, um, oh, that guy's faster than Naruto. I would compare it, in a sense, to uh, Assassin's Creed, where they kind of have no idea what to do with a storyline, so rather than revealing things, they would just um, have a new cliffhanger. It tends to be the way that the story plays out. Uh, which I think, ultimately, I mean, it might work a little bit when you want to continue to build suspense, but you do need to have some forms of payoff. And, um, you know, the, the payoff, I guess, when it, when they, they, so they've done a little bit of exposition, like, it, it, you know, it took ten fucking years, but they finally found the basement. Um, and let me just tell you that what was in the basement, to me, felt like an insult, in terms of, like, how ridiculous it was. So, yeah, I really need to watch the One Punch Man uh, anime. Everyone, everyone fucking loves it. Um, but I, I, I love the comic. The comic is great. Uh, the, I love the detail. Um, so it, it's, it's written by this, this goofy um, guy who does web comics, and he actually has his own web comic version of One Punch Man. And then uh, the, the art for the, um, the proper uh, uh, releases is done by um, Yusuke Murata, who also does art for. Well, I think he. So he did. He did. Um, I shield. 21 or whatever, which I guess is finished, but he has this and he's just this extremely experienced incredible artist so he's able to put this huge amount of detail in, and it's great because it, like it'll really match when there's this huge, like, it, it just I think it, it, it fits it very well when there's this huge degree of detail you know, in like the, the you know, the enemies and all the side characters and the world, you know and then you see, um Saitama, and he just has this goofy fucking look on his face, and he's like the least uh, detailed thing in the scene. And I think I think that juxtaposition works really well. But yeah, I don't know. It's that's a, so that's just a very good series, I would say. But I really like My Hero Academy. the The anime is good. I wouldn't say it's great, um, but it's it's good. I like it. See you, Ryoko. It was a pleasure. Have fun with this game. It's one of my favorites, I'd say. So, I think you have a lot of fun stuff ahead of you. But yeah, no, it's, um... Yeah, Attack on Titan... Eh. I've been meaning to watch some other series, like... People have, have you know, said a lot of good things about Bacano, but that's kind of old at this point, I guess. You know, it being like, what early or late 2000s. Um, I never watched a lot of the popular ones, like, uh... I, so I never watched Kill a Kill. I've told been told to watch Kill a Kill, and you know, I, know I know I probably should, but I'm just, you know... I'm, I'm, I'm slow and stupid. I don't do things. Oh, come on. There. Uh, what are some other popular ones? I've never seen Code, Code Yes, never seen that. I don't know, I just kind of randomly picked shows when I was younger, and I... I don't know. I mean, so I, I watched the JoJo anime. I love JoJo, I read this, the series. Uh, JoJo's very good. I guess my biggest complaint with the JoJo anime as well is that, um... They aren't able to fully capture some of the the weirdness and style um, in the, the original author's artwork. So it's not bad, but I just feel like it's not it's not a it's not a perfect adaptation. Although it's probably one of the better adaptations that I've seen, I guess I would say. But there's always a difficulty in the adaptation since they're they're basically trying to adapt someone else's artwork to um, you know a, a, a weekly different even. Uh, 
form. But I really like JoJo. I think JoJo has translated very well to anime, which is good because the original OVA was a little questionable, in part because they made weird changes to the plot, which no one really understood, but they did anyway. Um, but the original the original OVA still has some fantastic scenes, like the, the original OVA's animating of uh, Jotaro versus Darby the Gambler is fantastic. Big fan of that. That's one of the things it does. It does really, really well. But yeah, Gurren Lagann. So I, I watched the subbed version because I, I watched it basically as it was being broadcast. So that was um, that was cool to, to kind of be there as it was happening, I guess. But I don't know. I, I'm told the dub is quite good. Son is a big fan of uh, of the dub, and I trust his his judgment. But I, I just don't know if I really want to rewatch the show. Big O, fantastic series, Mecha Noir. Um, I guess it's not exactly Mecha either, because people will argue, you know, about what Mecha truly is. Mecha, depending on who you ask, is also one of those really misunderstood genres. Similar to, to RPGs and how people are like, Ooh, Zelda's an RPG. It's like, mm, no. Um, but, you know, people will be, you know, people, you'll, you'll be like, Hey, hey, someone, someone will be like, I love Mecha. And you're like, oh, hey, hey, Mecha friend. What is your favorite Mecha series? And they'll say Evangelion. And then you just kill them because Eva is literally not Mecha. It's not not to, to say Eva is not good. Eva is, you know, one of the, the world-renowned animes, but it's literally not Mecha. They are not mechs. Ergo, it is not Mecha. You know, so... That's one of the things that... I don't know. I have several friends who are really into Gundam. Uh, and... Yeah, no, I, I understand. Mecha being giant robot. People, I, to me, I've seen people argue that, that you know there's certain themes that you see, can, can see in like Gundam series and whatnot that you don't really see in uh, in certain things that people might consider Mecha, you know. But I don't know. It's I don't claim to be a, a, a genre historian or whatever, so I'm not gonna. I, I failed my anime studies class because I didn't watch enough anime. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm actually, I've watched surprisingly little anime, Ash, so don't feel bad. There's, there's some good stuff, though. I think Big O is just a, a great, accessible series. Um, but yeah, so a few of my friends are really into Gundam, and I've been, I've always wanted to get into Gundam, but it seems very difficult, considering how much of it there is. And how it's kind of like piecemeal. Like if there was, if you know, one. I, I don't think like. Yeah. Thank you, son. Yeah. So the the twist is is Eva is not Mecha. You know, not that there's anything wrong with Eva. Eva is a very good series, but not one I would recommend to everyone, given that it's a highly depressing series as well. Um, but it's not Mecha. It's just not. It's just not what it is. Um, I don't know. So Gundam, I, I if, if there was like a good singular place to, to watch the Gundams, I would probably do that. Because I do want to, to enjoy and learn the story of the Gundams, because I guess they're very good about it. You know, there's like the Universal Century Gundam series, and like these all take kind of take place in the same um, universe. So like there's all these... Um, connected storylines and like you can see certain characters who you know you can follow their stories and everything and that's cool I like that and I you know people have said some stuff like I guess there's certain Gundam series that are supposed to be like really 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 good you know I one of them is like 8th MS squad or something I don't know I need to, to learn Gundam basically like the only Gundam that I've seen to any decent extent was um, I've seen, I think I've seen a bit of Wing, which and a lot of people I know don't like. They don't say they say it's really not really indicative of of, of Gundam overall. Um, 
G Gundam, but G Gundam... So I have seen, I think, all of G Gundam, and I like G Gundam, but it's also very different, I think, from... I'm told from, from you know, quote, real Gundam, unquote. Because G Gundam is much more of a super robot show where they're yelling and, you know, powering up and going Super Saiyan and everything. And that's fun. Like, don't get me wrong. That's fun. Um, but... It's 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 not like a, it's not the Universal Century Gundam I think where Universal Century is like their one of their continuities. I just want to see if there's anything up here. No, there's not. And that was a waste of time. Excellent. Some people get really mad if you say you like G Gundam. Um, I I hope I never become one of those people. But no promises. I'm already a a, a jerk who hates fun. So I may evolve at one point to be a jerk who hates everything. Oh, one of my cats is meowing at me. She's walking away now, so clearly she didn't want me to, to, to talk to her. Alright, bye cat, whatever. Um, so, M My Hero Academy is fun. I just think it's... What I like about it is... So, the, the author who, who writes it, he's, he's clearly um, very knowledgeable about, you know, um, superhero comics in, uh, you know, the American, or the Western tradition, I should say, and and also, you know, he's very genre savvy when it comes to, um, you know, anime, so, and, and, and kind of battle shonen and everything, so he, he kind of is able to blend elements from both of these disparate, uh, you know, genres and, and styles and traditions, really, and is able to create something cool and, and neat. So it, you know, it's a, it, it's about a world where you know people have superpowers, but not everyone. And then it's kind of like there is a um, it's it's this world of people who who kind of certain people. Basically, hero is like it's like this rock star kind of profession, and, and but only the best of the best can become heroes. So. Mr. Stain. So, Mr. Stain. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Stain is, you know, but basically, so it's, it's about the trials and tribulations of, of one um, young man who wishes to become the, the greatest hero, and kind of um, how he comes to inherit the, uh, the, the, the power of the greatest hero. So, it, it's, I, I think it, it kind of explores a lot of cool concepts regarding, you know, justice and um kind of i guess the burdens people would carry and um what it really means to have like peace and what it really means to have prosperity I, those kind of things i find to be pretty cool and and interesting discussions and they're kind of raised very well in what i would ex normally just expect to be a um a, a series for you know young men who people who just punch each other but it manages to, to, to weave in I think good fighting with all this kind of interesting philosophy stuff not exactly philosophy but interesting kind of themes and so it, it creates you know what I find to be a very cool and um, enjoyable uh, series overall so also the artist I think is really cool he's, he's very um, inventive his previous series that unfortunately did not run very long was about a zoo, and um, at one point the zoo fights a um, an aquarium. So like all the people on the zoo are like fighting their equivalents from the aquarium. That was fun, and then they fight a. Um, they also fight a. Uh, oh fuck! Fuck! They also fight a. Uh, uh, after that. There is an, a fight against a uh, circus, which is funny as well. I like that. It's just you know fun kind of, of cool things like that. But and, you know just just interesting neat ideas where they they work in these these different kinds of uh, concepts and whatnot. To me, that's really what it, it means to be like a uh, an interesting series. Is you're able to take some of these these. You know, not exactly new concepts, but 
old concepts and maybe combine them with new ideas and, and I don't know. I'm just kind of waxing eloquent about nothing in general. Alright, let me use some of these. Oh, fuck. Stop juggling me! Rude! I gotta keep an eye on my health this time too. Cause I, I ran out when he was at like one health. It's fucking embarrassing. Jesus. Let's do a cyclone, that'll hit a lot of these guys. I wanna break whatever is there, this part which is making the fire. Just fuck that. Fuck fire. Not a fan. So if I if I'm able to hit the um shells back, then they it, I am able to deal damage to the um the guy, which is good. So like it'll it'll impact now the the boss and deal damage to him. Basically now I have to break the uh these um balloons, I guess. It's going down like a Hindenburg, maybe. Here's the danger. He'll start doing the electricity, though. But he's dead. So fuck it. He's dead. There. Ooh, a rank 5 healing toxin. Or healing toxin, healing potion. Tonic? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Money. A plenty. Cubs Bane. Cyclone. Toxin. I'm drink some of these lower level ones. The level determines the uh, potency, but also um, the value in selling. So, low level is not so good. Oh, I want the two. I was trying to drop the one, but dropping is like this. Dropping is one of the only problems I have. You, it's it's mapped to triangle and down, so it's very easy to accidentally drop something else. All right. So, okay. We'll go here. Battle! Is this enough to get another skill? 205. Of course not. But anyway, oh, so, so there's also going to be a... Um, a, a remake, or not a remake, a remaster of Dragon's Dogma on um, Xbox 4, or Xbox 4, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. That's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of Dragon's Dogma, uh, one of the unique, interesting games Capcom made, so naturally Capcom management decided to be real big assholes about it and made there be it the sequel to this interesting new kind of dark fantasy game that was hugely popular in the West. Of course, became a freemium, um, pay-to-win, um, Japanese-only MMORPG. So, people were like, huh? Why? Why? That really confused a lot of people, but it's Capcom, and Capcom seems to delight in pissing off its fans. So, who knows? They're like the weirdest company. But that's really cool that Nintendo is like doing this full on Netflix style. It's they must have been working on this for some time, so it's it's like them and, and Microsoft kind of converging almost, which is just it's interesting to see. Because the Microsoft idea is really cool, and one thing that I think is kind of bad for the industry overall is that um, Sony is is killing 
the the sales, the overall console sales, and in such a way that literally they don't even understand what they're doing right. Like they basically, you know, they basically said as much. Like they're in some ways they're concerned about how well they're doing because they actually they honestly don't know why exactly they're doing that well. So. The PlayStation Plus kind of thing is like I don't know. I, it's it's still fine. Like I, I, I like losing the games if if you if you don't pay to me is fine. Some people seem to get really upset about that, but I I think it's you know it's 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 reasonable and and mostly fair. So I don't see really a problem with it. Juggler I haven't used, so maybe they're actually good and I'm just being dumb. Unseeable, I don't think is any significant use. Oh, that's why for now. Oh. No, let's sell. Okay. Let's talk to Mori, see what we need to make. Keep it leveling up. What's oh, later than I thought it was, man? Ice cream and coolies. Okay, so I need mulberry and egg. Well, crepe, turny moose. As you wish. Oh, I don't want to make too many of these though because I have a. Uh... Is there anything else you want to order? No, okay, ice cream and coolest is different. All right. Cheesecake. I don't have cheese. But yeah, I don't know. I need to to. Is there anything else? I need to finish Persona Q. Which is like, it's this weird... As you wish. Two, two characters are level 36, that's nice. You're getting there, man. You are you are making it to the end of the tunnel. Is there anything else? I, and I, I honestly, I hope it's worth it. I hope it's as worth it as possible. Okay, so I'm going to make ice cream and coolies. So I need mulberry and egg. I can do this. Thank you very much. So I can plant two here. And skills cipher level up. <laughs> it should make the rest of the game a cakewalk. If it's not, then that's actually kind of worrying. Yeah, no, I, I kind of remember that happening a bit in Valkyrie Profile 1, there being, like, big difficulty spikes of points. I'm just in this and that's kind of a tri-ace, like, a proud tri-ace tradition, where you'll be playing the game, and you're doing fine, and then for no apparent reason, you just start getting fucked up. Like, non-stop, that's, that's, that is pure, classic tri-ace. They love that. But you know, I gotta respect Tri-Ace. As, as much as I criticize them, they're completely insane. Uh, and that insanity is something, you know, we need. Oh, I didn't have, I don't have very many muggles. As you wish. Damn. Ooh, that looks pretty good though. All right. Bad. I'm just tired. Churro. Uh, Mandragora salad, I suppose. Yeah, let's make some of this. As you wish. They can make spicy chicken. I think I'd have to do some feeding. The chicken. By the way, okay. Arngrim. Man, Arngrim is so Sundere. What was he being Sundere to you about, or was he just being straight up rude? He's been known to be rude once or twice. 
you know, sometimes he needs he sometimes he needs a good smack. Thank you very much. He decided not to level up. What a piece of shit. If he's gonna do that, you 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 gotta be ready to, to just smack him around, show him his boss. You don't have to put up with that. You should be like Arngrim, Arngrim, please. Like, come on, buddy. Like, you say please because you're being polite, but you know. It's like you know if, if someone sneezes on you and you're like can you please not do that and it's not like you're actually <laughs> hey Sokurai what's up my buddy we are talking about stuff I am right now feeding chickens so I can I can kill them uh, that's just that's just how I roll oh, yeah okay there we go dead. He dead anime style. That's how we roll. Now then. Chicken time. Gotta eat our food. Very well. Leave it to me. <laughs> Damn feeder. You know, so, so it's funny you say that, Sulkarai. We, 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 uh, Sun and I, we were playing um, Awesome Knots before, and I think I was a bit of a feeder. We were doing pretty decently at the start, but it, it kind of quickly devolved into um, E3 predictions. So my Is E3 predictions, uh, despite the fact that they've said there'll be no more Souls games, I predict there will be more Souls games. Very well. Um, Leave it to me. I predict uh, still no Sorry significant announcements leave. about Kingdom Hearts 3 or um, any kind of new Final Fantasy game or the Final Fantasy 7 remake uh, Just Cause 4 and it's gonna be I don't know it, it, it's also in Montana um, very much. I don't know I mean I, I expect Nintendo to be showing some games because they want to generate hype for the Switch yeah, no, I, I know that they got delayed again, but we're, I, I'm expecting absolutely no uh, significant developments on that front, which is unfortunate. But yeah, Montana, you know, they, they're... For whatever reason, Ubisoft decided to make Montana the new, the new Far Cry. I don't even know why they're sticking with the name Far Cry. Like, Far Cry 2 is already so different that it seemed pointless to me to keep the name. Come on. But they did anyway. Um, it's probably for the best, taking it away from CyberConnect. I've liked some of the CyberConnect games, but I've also disliked some of the CyberConnect games. Let's put it that way. I mean, so, so they did some of the, the JoJo games, and the JoJo games had a lot of, um, the, the recent JoJo games, I should say, they had a lot of good, like, references and stuff, but, um, mechanically they didn't play very well which was a really big um, really big letdown let's say because it was kind of like oh I can't wait to play this Jojo game and then you know oh I, I can wait because it's like oh it, they, they painstakingly recreated all these classic poses and character interactions and that's great but then the fighting is actually not that good there's all these infinites, the balance is terrible, and it's kind of like, oh. Uh, I guess this isn't a game I'll play seriously to any extent, which is unfortunate, but I don't know. Did they also do the dot hack games? I think they did. I liked the dot hack games. Oh, it's our buddy Lord Brigand! All right, everyone fall in! We'll this maintain cool. formation here while we wait. Check roll call again. Let's see. I predict, Lord um... What are you suggesting? Why should we wait after coming all the way here? Gwendolyn's troops are already in battle. Tis not very far from here. Shut up! Don't lecture me! 
The princess has advanced too quickly. We shall advance slowly. We must save our strength. If we hurry now, we'll be unable to rush them. Do not worry, my troops. The king's pride and joy is fighting. Our victory is almost guaranteed. But Lord Brigan... He's such an He's asshole. so annoying. Fine! Go on ahead! I'll catch up! We're almost I love... There. Tell them not to hold back! I love Lord Brigan. He's just one of those completely unlikable guys. Lord and he Brigan, has such a... be departing as well? Don't be so hasty, you fool! Like he's just unrepentantly evil. For a dramatic entrance. But in the last battle, we did not make it in time. And Princess Griselda... Don't use that tone with me! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a, what a man. Huh? And who are you? What are you doing here? The Demon Lord's confidant. Out of my way. What's all this, then? <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> Don't disturb me! You! How dare you! Oh, Lord Brigan. Sorry, General Brigan. He's, uh... But yeah, so E3 prediction. So he, his fight is a little different. Oh, we have to have to break his his little uh, things off his chest before we can actually damage him. So E3 predictions. I'm predicting um, Microsoft will announce no exclusive games. Exclusive isn't like just for Xbox One or just for you know. The, the, they'll announce games that will be multiplayer focused and will be on um, PC as well because that seems to be their thing now. And it's really unfortunate, because I, I think that there still isn't very much a market for single-player games. You know, maybe you don't make the same kind of money as you do, you know, if, if every game is fucking Call of Duty and people are buying all the loot boxes and everything, but, um, I, you know, it's good to have variety. Like, if you're just, just you know, those kind of games, then I think you're missing out. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going for, but there was that weird quote where, like, after right after Horizon and um, not Horizon, well, yeah, yes, Horizon Zero Dawn, and um, so these 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 ladies will try and reattach his his metal nipples, and we, we don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna try to stop them by killing them. There, we stop them through killing. Uh, th yeah, but so Phil, Phil Spencer was like, um, uh, you know, the, nobody really does the things anymore with the single player games. And everyone was kind of like, the fuck are you talking about? This is, like, you said this on the, the heels of Breath of the Wild coming out and Horizon Zero Dawn coming out, like two, you know, very highly acclaimed single player games. And people were kind of like, what? Are you fucking talking about, Phil Spencer? You know, I, I certainly understand what he's trying to say. Like, I think the Dear era Cauldron, of only single-player games is child. fading. Now, obey the ring. So here is Listen the cauldron. The voice of the ring's owner. Go to sleep. Stop all this. Let not a single cog spin. This is the Odin sphere, quote unquote. All right, we did it. Even my grandfather can control the cauldron. All right, um... Who is that over there? Tis Odin. It seems Apocalypse the battle averted. is down. Nice. Soldiers are approaching. I must leave before they spot me. All right, mission accomplished. Cool. Who's this handsome puka? Master! Princess Velvet, you're safe! When I heard that you had run away, I gathered those who were determined to rescue you. This area is not safe. If a puka is captured here, they will discover the entrance to the town. Someone's coming. Please, go and hide. 
I'll draw them away and buy you time. But... Please! I like the Xbox 360. Oh, it's Gwendolyn. You use a cipher. You must be a high-ranking officer. The Xbox One is good. I like the Xbox One. But I think Microsoft has done a very bad job with it. Daughter? Let's just say that. She is my half-sister. And who are you? Tis now your turn to answer. Stop! I mean, so there's there's a bunch of games that I like on the Xbox One. It's just very few of them are, are exclusive, like true exclusives, which I think is unfortunate because it's Microsoft seems to have decided that all of their in-house games are going to be um, PC and Xbox One, which is, I mean, I understand why it's 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 fine for them, but it's also like not great for the... I don't know. It's not that it's bad for the rest of us, but I I don't know. I worry that it'll kind of dilute certain franchises like Forza, which relied on um, you know, very fine-tuned. Very fine-tuned, high-performance. And just having to support an extra platform is not a... It's not something that comes for free, let's say. But, I don't know. So, I, I like Forza. I like Halo. Halo is still uh, an exclusive. The the main line Halo, at least. Um, I don't know. Otherwise, though, the, yeah, there's very few exclusives. I really like Titanfall 1, and I, I bought Titanfall 2 on, on X-Bone. But um, that's also not an exclusive, so. I'm glad nothing happened. Everyone was rushing around. Father has a bad back, but he still tries to keep up. I worried about <laughs> all of you. I'm just very relieved. Meryl. Meryl's a pretty good puka. You did it, Princess Velvet. The cauldron has been deactivated. Yay. Have you seen the Puka with the sword? Oh, he's still around. He's just resting. You needn't worry about him, though. As far as I can see, he'll be fine. So, as we know, the Puka with the sword, that you've come back Cornelius, her, her husband, I'm still nervous that you could have been discovered. But he's been cursed. She doesn't know that. She's trying to hide it. And another update. There have been non-stop updates. Welcome! What can I get? Alright. French onion soup. Cold cheese soup. With this looks pretty good. Bon appetit! Hmm. Classic games will only have NES. I mean, if they have a good selection, though, that's fine. And if this is kind of their replacement for the NES Mini, which it's really unfortunate that they, you know, canceled production of that. Will this be all for you? I don't know. I'm just I'm always critical of how slow Nintendo is to roll out a lot of these, like other games through these services, which is really. Yeah, I don't know. Will this be all for you? I mean, the NES Classic was great, but it's so weird that they just didn't... I don't know, include more games or have a better selection. Like, the fact that they have Castlevania 2, but not 3, is such a weird Thank choice. From what I remember, there's like... Ugh, I can't remember some of the other weird choices, but... Just some some bewildering choices. Is there something you need? Pokemon probably, yeah, it's a safe safe bet. Alright, milk, 
cheese. I need both these things. Smash switch, yes, definitely. Is there something? I think these are all very safe bets. I'll sell maybe. Oh, it sells for a lot. Hmm. Okay, food's going in the trunk. And I'm going to put the stone boots there, too. I need to carry them around. Yeah, I really have to wonder what Retro's thing will be. And I'd love to see Metroid, but I already know we're not getting Metroid. Such a small ring is the key to Armageddon. Master. Will the cauldron remain asleep? Perhaps, perhaps the prophecy could be mistaken. You must never give the ring of Titrell to anyone with a lust for power. Here she is! What? Indeed. This saves us the trouble of having to go underground. W what do you want? Ah! Wait, listen. King Valentine has ordered us to come here. Uh-oh. My grandfather? Princess, the king is furious. <laughs> The customary punishment for disobeying the king is hanging or crucifixion! Quiet! You have nothing to worry about. The king is a kind man. <laughs> yeah, no. He said if you'll return the ring, he'll love you again. Princess Velvet. I will not let him have it. Killing her isn't an option. Just steal the ring, like candy from a babe. There are too many of them! Run away! Quiet, old man! Uh-oh. Master! Yeah! Worry Don't not Don't die, old me. man. Hide the ring where no one will find it. <sighs> oh, well... Don't let her Fun. escape! Oh, I see what you mean. Fuck the other grandpa. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'd, I'd like a Luigi's Mansion on Switch. I'm actually... The next game I think on my DS to playlist is, um... Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Which I, I'd put off playing as well. So that's, that's next on the 3DS list. Um, I really want to see... Uh, what I'd love to see at the Nintendo conference, which I know I won't get, but like a date for um, Monster Hunter Double Cross. That would be great if we could get a date for that. And, you know, I know I know there's a Japanese date for it on the Switch, but I want a, 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 an English date for it on the Switch. The re for uh, the rest of us. A fest of us for the rest of us, you know? That's all I ask for. It's not much. But they'll probably they're, they're going to be coy about it, and it's going to be like August um, 2018. So that's that's the that's the spoiler. See, I I have I have only like played a little bit of Dark Moon, and I just I want to to just see what it what it has to offer. You know, unless it's really bad. I don't know. I mean, like, so I'm I'm playing through Persona Q, and that's not really bad, but it's also not. That great, I guess is what I would say. Yeah, no, that that's that's completely fair. I'm sure there are games that you know you like that I don't like, and, and vice versa. I I really don't have any any qualms with with like I have I have like legitimate or I have 
I guess there's not really any games that I have, you know, in, you know, qualms that I can't possibly get over. I like Persona. Persona's great. Persona Q is like one of the, it's, it's the weakest of the Persona games I've played. It's weird, it's just, so it's, it's the 3DS one, it's like this, um, it's, it's a crossover between, and not really a crossover, it's a Persona Etrian Odyssey, kind of, but it's also not really a good Etrian Odyssey. So, I don't know, like, it's not terrible, it's just kind of, it's like, this could be better, I guess, is, is really the, the feeling I get when playing it. It's like, eh. I don't know. It's also... I mean, so the music is still there. The music, I think, being good definitely helps out a lot. I would be a lot less inspired to play it if I didn't know I had great music waiting for me. Um, but, eh, I don't know. I love dungeon crawlers, like Etrian Odyssey are some of my favorite games. This is just, it just does not really live up to Persona or Etrian Odyssey. Which is just unfortunate. Troll Molder. Have we even seen those? Man. Oh. Well, question answered. Well, yeah, my favorite Persona, um, after much deliberation, Persona 5. It's, it's 5. 5 is the best. Um, and if there's any question, there, there's no question about who the, who the superior waifu is in Persona 5 because it's Futaba. There. That's the end. This discussion over. You found... Yeah. You know... I can't even imagine what Baron Trump's personal life is like, so... I think it's it's probably best just to... I don't know. Like, I, I, one thing I, I always dislike is when people bring... The, the spouses or, or family members of candidates into the things that the, you know the family member kind of has no relation to. Like when there was when um, I remember Rick Santorum? People were making Rick Santorum's really wow. Um, people were making Rick Santorum's name like a relatively um, obscene meaning. And to me, like, having just a family name like that is bad because, you know, the, there's people un people who haven't done anything wrong who have that family name, too. You know, like the, the, the kids, for example. But whatever. Is there anything else you want? There's always more, Mori. It never ends. Very good. That reminds me of a Sugar Ray song, I think. I used to like Sugar Ray way back when. I honestly don't remember much of them. That was like middle school shit. Man. Will that be all? Man. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, tweets. The twits. See, so there's grape. I don't think grapes are used in anything. Let's make some muggles, though. Muggle and mulberry. All right. What? What have ye, merchant? Wow. Do you have any? I wish I had more inventory space. Cheese! I do have cheese, though. Let's buy more milk and egg. Yeah, I can't even imagine, like, how... Isn't he, like, 10 or something? Has he really watched Cowboy Bebop? That's... So, Cowboy Bebop, another famous cultural thing that I haven't watched, because I'm an, I'm an idiot. He doesn't watch good things. They only watch garbage. Um, I love, you know, I personally, I love garbage. I love to roll around in garbage. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I hate things that are good. So, I really ought to watch 
One of the, one of these days, I'm gonna watch Cowboy Bebop. One of these days. But yeah. I don't know, just having a sister that's three times your age and then having, you know, and, and being 10 years old and having a mom that's only four times, I don't know. The fact that that Ivanka and Melania are 12 years apart is like the weirdest shit to me, but perhaps I am the crazy one. You know, perhaps, perhaps we are the ones who are wrong. Well, if I buy Hot Cross... Buns, I can get the. Uh, that looks pretty decent. Cheesecake. There's um, French onion soup. Which requires hot cross buns. Are you weak? I don't know. That's just the whole family I don't want to talk wow. about. Do you have any Let's put it that way. So he doesn't sell hot cross buns. Fuck. Alright. Back to the, the dining board. Over here. <laughs> More I am now then. What do you want to order? Man, so you're got you're like, you're buff. You, you've been hitting the gym, son. Oh, 46, that's pretty good. Keeps Lorraine. I won't finish off my onions. Very well, leave it to me. So you're doing pretty good. Yeah, you're on, you're on a good path towards that final boss. Enjoy your meal. But I guess the question is going to be the... There's always like weird tricks to do that are never obvious in Trius games, and then there's um, like crafting or something to. I don't know. Is there anything else? Yeah, we'll make regular omelet. Very well. Leave it to me. Crad. Now that's a name. Aw. Enjoy your meal! 37 and 35, so they're they're stuck in low-level idiot territory. Oh. Bubble them up too, Jesus. You're you're trapped in hell. Good god. Will that be all? I call her Noki. Eh. Do I Churro. I'm trying to figure out what the best bang per buck is. This is a pretty good bang per buck. Very well. Leave it to me. Experts experience. I have no idea what that is, but I'll take that it's very good. Huh. Is there anything else you want to order? Well, that sounds helpful. Make a quick crepe. Very well. Will that be? Yeah, that'll be good for now. I await you. Huh? So you can give away. I trust that that makes more sense to you, because I'm I'm kind of not following that, but that sounds useful. Sounds like a good thing to have. Oh, fucking the little. Ice spirits. Pieces of shit. Oh, damn it. Whatever. Spit and fire at these other guys. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, look at all this money. Okay. 
So we head over this way, over yonder, hither and yonder. Man, I'm gonna give these guys the old, the old plus ultra. The old, yeah. Oh, Lizard. Oh, Lizard's in your party. Hmm. Well, Lazard, I'm sure he's gonna be a good, valuable friend who won't betray you in any way, and it's not a fucking creeper. I mean, I guess, you know, his biggest... Well, no, I can't. Creepy. He's, he's, a, he's a bit of a creep. I mean, he kind of helps out a bit in Valkyrie Profile 1, but it's kind of like, Wow, Lazard, I'm a little worried about you, buddy. And he's also a villain, part of it, I think. Oh, fuck that. Stupid. I build up my chain again. Dumb. Alright, well, this is a good chain. Yeah. I like when they die and they make the sound of like a whale dying. Oh, no more grape seed. Well, I don't like that. Who did? Turny. Dis turny. Ah, oh, yeah. Beat the shit out of that cub's man. All oh, these fucking griffins. I don't, what they I don't know what they think they're gonna do. Other than show up and die. Maybe the griffins are like, ugh, what do you mean? Trying to valiantly defend their young, and I just come in here, butcher them, and then leave. Probably kill their, their young too. I'm a, I'm a video game character. We're all assholes. Let's see. I. Hmm. I still want to see the Aurora like we can see here. I've never had a chance to see it in person. I'm told it is quite a beautiful sight. Alright. It's not a battle stage, so there's no reward for killing them all. Other than the uh, deep satisfaction in knowing that I have killed something horrifying and evil. This expert's experience thing sounds interesting. That might be the key to your success, son. So I, I encourage this uh, line of, of, of reasoning. Cold cheese soup recipe. Curious. I don't wish I remember how to, how to make yogurt. I think, is it like... No, I guess I don't have... I think sometimes you can, you can craft... I don't know. You, there might be the um, material plus milk. Or it might be automatic. I honestly don't know. That's pretty cool, Ash. See, I, I always live... I've lived, like, just south enough that we don't really get to see the Aurora. Or at least not, you know, any time that I've been watching. Because basically in Michigan... Well, southern Michigan... Um, we're, we're not very far north, honestly. 
I think we're like 30 something parallel. Not anywhere near, you know, because I know Michigan extends up to basically past the 45th in parts. Ow. I need to. to I thought I can actually poison this guy. That's interesting. Hmm. Sorry, I got a little lost in thought for a second there and got hit. Oh, fuck. 99 hours. I don't know, cold cheese sounds decent. I've, ha I've had some nice cheese soup, but it usually ends up being um, very rich, and as a result, you know, kind of hard to, to eat. Usually it ends up being very salty, too. That's the downside of, of some good soup, unfortunately. You can rely on salt as a flavoring agent, in part. Yeah, no, sourdough bread is delicious. I fucking love sourdough. Sourdough bread is the best bread. There are lots of very good breads in the world, but sourdough is the best of them all. You gotta go to San Francisco, have San Francisco sourdough. I haven't had a chance to do that, but everyone tells me to. Draw a ring. No more grape seed. Okay. Now to the east. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, well, un unshit. There's no just that. have to kind of go back through a few of these areas. Man, okay. Delicious sourdough in a wood oven. Ooh. That sounds very good. Oh, here we are. I said I was going to go the other way first, though. I lied. So I have to go that other way first. Damn it. Damn it. It's not what I wanted to do. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Sorry, I might. I think this is going to be the last stage tonight. Well, it already is. Pretty late. Time's just flying tonight. Alright, we have to just make it through. Small chests or one, uh, like, chest of the the one coin will be forgotten. Much like we as America forgot about 9-11. I lied. I, I went ahead and got it. Okay. Treasure chest. Oh, ice wall looks then unbreakable. Well, I got something for that. It's called a volcano. You're getting there, man. That is some serious dedication. I gotta, really gotta commend you for that. Like, the fact that you have not given up is pretty phenomenal. 
Alright, then we can teleport. Here. Okay. Come on. Okay. So I hot cross buns, yes. What did I tell you? I, you know, you, you can blame me if you want. I'll, I'll, I'll readily, yeah, game FAQs, well, you, you always gotta be careful about game FAQs. Those guys, you know, some of them are weirdos. Some of them are not good people. Some of them just make guides that fucking lie. I am, huh? Now then, sometimes they're uh, sometimes they're right though. So, as much as I hate to admit it, some guides are liars. Some guides are not liars. Leave it to me. So some French onion soup. I love French onion soup. Look at that French onion with some bread, overflowing the bowl, looking cheesy and delicious. Ugh. Man. Will that be all? That will be all. Maybe. I don't want to use my last onion. I just hate doing that. Um, cold cheese soup. So if I could make yogurt, and I think I can. I await your further patronage. So I think the way you make oh, yogurt. Mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes they'll be like this. One, th one thing that I've noticed in game FAQs is they'll be like, this area is really easy. And then, or like, this boss is really easy. And then I'll look at the, um,. I'll look at like the level suggestion. The guy's level is like 30 levels past mine, Welcome and it's like the first the area in the game. And he's like, "I always grind for 75 hours," and it's like, "Okay, like if you want to do that, that's fine. But as your you guide wish. is fundamentally useless as a result if you write this boss is really easy recommended level, and it's like 99 for the first boss, Enjoy and you're just like, okay, sure." Is there anything else? Whew. Yeah, we'll eat a little more cold cheese. Very well. Le Is there anything? Okay. So, I could definitely make some more stuff with the yogurt. Huh. I just walked right into him, huh? Hmm. Cool. Wonder what this will be. Yogurt stew. Hmm. Chicken. Yogurt stew sounds really weird. I don't know if I want to eat that or not. Oh, oops. Let's see, what can I? So 16 or 16? Alright, I am waiting. I don't know. 
I, you know, sometimes you just don't ask questions, all right? They don't pay me to ask questions, son. They also don't pay me to play video games, but I still do it. In fact, I pay the company to, to let me play video games, so... Probably don't want to take any of my uh, advice, is what I'm getting at. Okay, I need to go back and get my shoes. I knew it would come back to haunt me. Equipment. Take off the ring. Boots. Oh, they make it harder to jump, huh? I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Alright, here we go. I haven't seen any, um... Oh. I'm surprised they haven't seen any enemies yet. Usually there's like a... Will of the... Not Will of the Wisp, but those, those little ghost guys or something here. But okay, trial stage! Trial by fire! Alright, let's start throwing out. I think we could get stopped by the fire for some reason, but clearly he did not. Okay, this is good because I'm at least damaging both of them at the same time. Jeez, someone slammed the door. Alright, combo. Shane, here we come. I love to do the the he 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 when I'm doing this. Yeah. I am employing strategy and tactics along with both Moxie and Gumption to successfully destroy the undead. Gotta love Moxie. You know, Moxie. Oh, what's up, son? Hold on, Prism, AVG, uh-oh, uh-oh, what did AVG do? Burn and Curse, huh? Ooh. What was this passive? Yeah. Let's increase this burn. Two weeks late. Oh uh, yeah, your computer may have been ransomed. Uh, you, 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 you okay? And it's like, thanks, thanks, AVG. You're timely as always. All right, we know how to proceed. Let's go back to Vampire Frank. We stop ransomware by making sure you never hear about it. It's like, oh, I, I guess that works. Hmm. All right, up. Battle. Fuck, I thought it was doing so well, too. Uh -oh. 
Love the light griffins on fire. Satisfying as hell. Cheese is always wonderful. Fucking love cheese. One of my cats is on my table. She knows she's not supposed to be there, and she's looking at me like, look where I'm not supposed to be. Damn cats, too happy about it. Okay, so we will. We are hiding the ring where no one will think to look for it. Where could that possibly be? A powerful foe above the clouds. As you can see, his soul is with the stars. Hmm. Why are you here, Jewel Handler? If I dislike your answer, you shall not leave this mountain. I have been waiting for you. I have been waiting to meet Hindle's friend. My name is Wagner. Who are you? I must know or I will not help you. I am Princess Velvet of Valentine. You are related to the one who created the cauldron that destroys souls. He's that jeweled chain. He has good reason Kindle to be skeptical. Told me a shadow knight from the fairy kingdom would soon come to take his life. He knew it all, but he died following his destiny. He mentioned you then. He died from that jewel. Don't casually dismiss his death. Do you think of us as mere lizards, incapable of shedding tears? You don't seem well, to understand that my friend's death pains me terribly. I mean, do dragons have tear ducts? Heart, you witch of Valentine. I could crush your bones and drink your blood, but it would bring me no peace. I curse the misfortune of meeting you here. Wagner, please wait! Yeah, Wagner's pissed. And, you know, with decent reason. Fang is so he's, he's a little grumpy. But you know, we we can certainly understand a little bit of his, his grumpy attitude. Also he is I know I've said it before, but he he is a Rathalos, right? This is this is a Rathalos. Oh, damn it, he's getting away! The ice elementals are spawning too. Oh, come on! I guess I, that's the best thing I can do. I thought I might get hit by death if I try to jump over it, but no. Just barely enough room. Wait, is this enough yet? Yes. Pack plus. Fuck. Always come in from behind. Take 
stuck on the tornado. Uh. Always dead. Yeah. Slight frame drop, it seemed like. Oh well. I still need to contact Comcast to see if something's going on with my streaming. Don't be arrogant, girl. Allow me to show you what a true dragon is capable of. You can take my life, but please, hear what I have to say first. I do not care if you beg. I have stopped the cauldron to prevent a great disaster. Kindle told me to come here. <laughs> eh? What did you say? You stopped the cauldron that creates the jewels like the ones you use? Yep. No one can command the cauldron now. Save for the one wearing this ring, Titrell. This ring is the only thing that can reactivate the cauldron. So destroy it. If you speak the truth, then that means that no more jewels can be created. The Demon Lord and yep, the Goblins Comcast, are all searching for this ring. Please lend me your aid. I come here to hide this ring where nobody will be able to find it. Are you saying that the Valentine royal family wishes to dig its own grave? I never thought I'd hear that. <laughs> but there is nowhere that is truly unreachable to all. <clears throat> Wherever the ring is buried, the dwarves will eventually dig it up given time. Then what do you suggest? Let me take the ring. I am Wagner, ruler of the sky. Not even the beast of Armageddon can reach me above the clouds. Really, huh? And I am safe from Odin. You went safe from me. Is that? We made a deal long ago. In reward for his valor, I gave him my blood. The source of his mighty power is the oh. dragon's blood running through his veins. Oh. As a result, Odin's powers cannot harm me. Oh. Now, give me that ring. So this is why Oswald then beats up... Please be careful. This Wagner ring is sought by more than Odin. just kings. Tis my responsibility. Thank you, Wagner. If Odin is hunting you, I would advise you to stay away from this mountain. I often see the Demon Lord's Valkyrie in the area. I cannot hide from him. This situation must come to an end eventually. I may be Valentinian royalty, but I am Odin's daughter. Aww. What? <laughs> It has been predicted. I will be captured by the Aesir. As the thief who ruined their chances of victory. Hmm. So there's very much kind of a is fate truly unchangeable theme in this game. It's interesting. They have a different sort of take on it. But usually it's just kind of like, is fate unchangeable? And they're like, nope, fate's changeable, you change your fate! And it's... This is, this is a little different from how it's, it's tri traditionally played, I would say. Ooh. Like that. This, and, um... This. Come on. Come on. Alright. Save. And I think we're going to end the stream. It's been going on for some time. I'll try to stream, I guess, Saturday, maybe even Sunday too, since I'm going to be on a business trip next week to Massachusetts. So that's not anywhere interesting, unfortunately. But, alright. Thanks for watching, everyone. The stream probably should have been a little longer. I apologize for that. But, all right. Have a good night, everyone. I'm getting tired myself, so. 
maybe I'll hang out, watch some streams for a bit, but all right. It's always a pleasure. See you guys later.